You're listening to the IO Soapbox with Aiken. I'm an IO psychologist, which of course means no one knows what I do. Now on this show, we are going to talk about IO psychology. I'm hoping that some of you not in IO will want to join us, and those of you in IO will be inspired to break new ground. Now, let's get me a cup of coffee, because I'm tired, and then it's time for me to rant about random things on my soapbox. So one of the questions that I get asked more than anything is what is industrial organizational psychology? And this is like in all different areas of my life. My family doesn't even understand it. You know, obviously at work, people want to know dating. That's awkward too. Um, It is perhaps the worst branded psychology. um, If we get real technical, industrial organizational psychology is really the science and practice of formal organizations and the people in them, which by the way, uh, still makes people's eyes glaze over because nobody knows what that means. But basically, you know, any type of organization, a lot of us work with businesses, so business organizations, but it could also be volunteer organizations, sports organizations, even terrorist organizations, all technically fall under what an IO psychologist might, might do. And what we're really looking at is what makes them effective? And not only from a organizational standpoint, but from a human standpoint, from a person standpoint. Who are your engaged workers? What keeps them engaged? What do we need to know about job satisfaction or leaving organizations? Um, how do we know if someone's performing well? How do we know how to make teams more productive or leaders more effective? All of that is within the realm of IO psychology. Of course, by this point in time, if I'm trying to explain this, most people are still kind of looking at me like I have three very boring heads. So let's instead go through a couple of different short elevator speeches on what industrial organizational psychology is and what it might look like for different people. So back when I worked at Georgetown Law, the best way that I could ever describe what I did as an IO psychologist uh, was that I was basically Jane Goodall, but with lawyers. I lived among them and I studied their ways. That is the single all-time best elevator speech I've ever had for what I do, so it's going to be all downhill from here. Nicest elevator in the building, by the way. I help organizations hire the best talent without discriminating on protected class or other lives. And I come after them when they've been naughty. So, what do I do? I help organizations hire, retain, promote, train their best talent. As my oldest son says, I really am a numbers doctor. I get to collect and analyze data to help organizations change their processes. That's pretty cool. So one of the things that got me really interested in IO psychology, apparently we're actually here, is um, that we as adults spend about a third of our lives at work. And as an I.O., what I get to do is make sure that that work environment is as engaging as possible so people really can spend their time doing something meaningful. It's pretty cool. In part, what I do is I help make sure that people are excited to wake up and get to work every day. Because it doesn't have to suck, you know. I help businesses make better decisions. Have you ever wondered how to ace a negotiation? We actually study that. That's a little slow though. (laughs) 
Sometimes I just train and coach leaders. One of the hardest things to do sometimes is to learn how to drive through others rather than driving all of the results yourself. Basically everything that an industrial organizational psychologist does is organizational change. It is actually kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. Essentially my whole work life is about opening doors for people and making sure they have opportunities at work. I'm basically a nerd superhero. I hope decision makers make decisions based on data and evidence rather than on their gut. First floor. It's like the most boring tower of terror ever. Thirteen floors down? No, two very casual floors. Hi! If you want to change the way that work works, industrial organizational psychology is the field for you. We are the field, I think that has the most potential for impact, not only in how businesses work, but in how all organizations function. So yeah, we've been called the dark side of psychology, primarily because you can make a pretty decent wage as an IO psychologist, but we're still a great field with profound potential to influence work and everybody who does work. We also, by the way, have cookies, sometimes bourbon, but mostly if you're over 21, because I really don't feel like getting in trouble. So yeah, look into industrial organizational psychology. We might be poorly branded, but we're a pretty awesome field.